Good morning. I hope this finds you well. Uh, today we are going to be talking about one of my favorite lessons, and that's the difference between kinetic and potential energy. Now, we do this by looking at dominoes. But before we get into the science and physics of dominoes, I wanted to take a moment and just talk about some easy math, easy ways to incorporate math into this activity. And you can use a bunch of different dominoes as you do that. So uh, we can look at addition, subtraction, multiplication, and also repeated addition, repeated multiplication. So these are some of the areas that we can explore. And depending on your child's level, depending on their comfort, there's different ways that you can do this. Um, so first, we're just going to take a look at addition. So we have two numbers here. The first one is uh, 3 plus 3 plus 2. So 3, 6, 8 plus 4, 8, 9, 10. So 8 plus 10. And then we would have our answer there. Okay, so this is one sentence that we can do. We can also start in an organized manner with sub subtraction if we want to, looking at one like this. We can count the pips, the nibs, or the knobs, I believe are the three different terms that you can use for the small little dots. I prefer pip. Um, uh, we can look at these pips, 4 plus 4 plus 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, minus 1. 10 minus 1, if we take it away, we can go ahead and add that right over to there in order to um, get our answer. Now we can also start looking at multiplication or addition. And so for here, we have either 5 plus 6 which would be 11, or we could do 5 times 6, and that would be skip counting 5 6 times. So we could do, this is quite easy to do visually with the pips, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and that would give us our answer for 30 for 5 times 6. So these are great tools for... Uh, multiplication as long as you have a solid foundation. I recommend starting with uh, dominoes that have fives in them because that seems to be easy, easiest to do the fives and the twos. Now we can also organize our repeated addition as well and also talk about the ways that uh, subtracting the same number equals zero. So here zero plus zero is going to equal zero. One plus one, one, two, 5 plus 5, that would equal 10 right over here. 5 minus 5 will equal 0, okay? And for here, as we do subtraction, we can start out with the 1s and figure out how the number changes with 1. And then we can add 2s, and then we can add other numbers as well. Sometimes it's easiest to organize the numbers like this, where you can have 4 minus 3 is going to equal 1. And then you can also add in, let's see, none of them are jumping out at me, of course, but um, if you can have, uh, oh, here we go, 6 minus 5 is also going to equal 1. So if you do the patterns with the answers as you build up, it's a very easy way to incorporate some nice solid math. So I love, love, love making mathematical sentences with dominoes. The last one is to do a longer train where you can do, um, I forgot, this was 8 plus 10 plus 5 plus 5. And so you can talk about different strategies to figure out what this answer is. It's going to be 28 because 10 you can make a group of 10 here, you have another 10 here, and then you have a group of 8. So 10 plus 10 is 20, plus 8 is 28. And you can also do that, depending on your comfort level, with multiplication as well, if you're really out to push yourself up. Now, a good challenge is how many dominoes can you add together? How long of a train can you make as you build them? Okay, so... This is a nice math activity you can do with dominoes, but we're now going to talk about what I would also like for you to do. If you have dominoes, I would like for you to start to build domino 
trains along the lines of this. And as we build them, I want you to remember a very important phrase that you need to say to yourself and also anyone else who's helping you. And that's, that's okay. When we build with dominoes, they always fall over. And we're gonna talk about why they always fall over, but we have to be okay with if family is helping us, our parents are helping us, they're gonna fall over. And that's not a big deal. It's part of the fun and part of the challenge. If it wasn't challenging to stack dominoes on their ends, then we wouldn't really want to do it, okay? So when we, when we stack a domino up, we build potential energy. So if you can say potential energy, that would be great. And the two types of energies we're talking about, the two types of energies, one is kinetic energy, one is potential energy. Can you say kinetic? So here we have a domino. This domino doesn't have any energy for falling. It can't fall over because it's already on the ground. If there was a hole in the earth and it went all the way down all of a sudden, then yeah, it would build up a lot of kinetic, ener or kinetic energy and it would have potential energy, but there's no way for it to fall. So it doesn't have any potential energy. For me to build up potential energy inside of it, I need to lift it up and I need to stand it on its end. And then, because this is carpets, it's not gonna to wanna to stand, so I'm gonna stand it on another domino. And that energy uh, that I put into lifting this up, uh, it stays inside the domino. And it stays in there. When we talk about the three laws of uh, motion, we'll find that energy is always here. So the energy that I put into lifting that heavy, heavy domino, that's still inside the domino. And when I push it over, it gets released. So if anything bumps the domino over, then that will be something that releases that potential energy, the energy to move that it kind of has. So if I come over and I push it over, there's a little explosion of energy that happens when it falls over. Now, we're gonna see this energy explosion in just a second, and you'll be exploring it with the videos as well because there is a lot of energy that can be released with this. So, here we go. And there is all of that potential energy released. Now, because of force amplification, which is a uh, force being built up for each domino falling over and over and over, a domino can knock over something that's one and a half times bigger than itself. And so when levers are falling over, that's what they can do. They can knock over something that is one and a half times bigger than itself. And there's ways that we can make levers do really interesting and cool things. If you, When you watch the OK Go video tomorrow, you'll see that one little domino knocks over a whole bunch of stuff and causes a chain reaction that is really quite amazing. And that's because of the potential energy, the built up energy in all of the objects uh, that they put together. So. The one, one of the ways is for a domino to knock over something else to build up potential energy. Another is to make a domino go higher. And so if I try to knock over this little Lego box with the domino, it really doesn't move at all. I haven't tried it. I wanted to experiment. I love to experiment. So I wanted to see if by just building the dominoes up, one, two, three, four, five, six steps, we could knock over this domino, this Lego refrigerator. So let's see if we can do that just by pushing this over and boop. Now we've built up enough potential energy to knock it over. That potential energy is turned into kinetic energy. And what a domino all the way up here can do is much different than what a domino down here can do because I took the time to uh, lift it all the way up there 
and when it falls, there's more of an explosion. So if you don't have dominoes, I did wanna show you some other options that you can use that work just as well. And sometimes it's interesting to see if you can use dominoes to knock over some of these other objects. So one of the, one of the things that uh, this works well with are books. If you have books, books work exactly the same. If you open up the pages a little bit, that can keep them so it uh, doesn't fall down all the time. Once again, if it falls down, if it falls down, say, that's okay. It's okay, because it's going to happen. Okay, so let's see how they work. And it works just the same. And if you are looking for something to do with um, DVD boxes or video game boxes or anything else, you can also stack these up as well, and they work just as fine as the dominoes. So I hope you have a wonderful day experimenting. If you do some domino math, please let me know. If you uh, set up a domino chain, I want to see it go off. If you could record that for today's Flipgrid, that would be wonderful. Happy building today, guys. Take care.